What's been infuriating to me about this process is we keep you keep moving the goalposts. I mean, I feel like every time I've got my arms around it, it slips away and something else comes in. So the what happened last time when you did this report is that the is that I don't mean to be sort of shrill about this, but it's very irritating because what happened last time is when you when you gave the various alternatives, they weren't cumulative. So some of them showed zero additional funding, two years to build out, and it was four years of build out, zero years of funding, you know what I mean? But you didn't you didn't add them together in a way that we could mix them and match them. Now you've added them together and you drop in the miscellaneous, which is a self-perpetuating funding requirement. There's no, you've been arbitrary, I think, in terms of creating a need to fund six years of addition. Because it's going to take us that long to build it out, we'll just keep funding miscellaneous projects out of the program, so we'll keep funding it for longer. I think it's, it's disingenuous, or at least confusing to me. Would you like to address that? Um, I would agree with you. I believe this was probably an oversight on our part. It's a, it's a catch-all slush fund that's covered now from that utility search. Well, don't that's call it a slush fund. Well, I'm, call, I'm calling it that intentionally, because that's what it is. It's a series of pickup, I'm not saying it's not a value, but it's a way to pick up a series of important and valuable and appropriate projects, but not having to do necessarily with what's understood to be the undergrounding process as it relates to doing these these class one streets. So I call it a slush fund because that's what it is. And I object to it. And I certainly object to rolling it up and making it a nine million dollar number, which then creates the need to, you know, I mean, I, I, the whole thing seems so circular to me that. So uh, to me, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't nearly I have a nearly as strong a feeling as you do, Terry, about whether it should be cut off at the earliest possible time. It depends really on the justification that the staff can offer for the additional funding, the second year or the, or the third year. So, I would be interested in hearing the explanation you would offer for what's in that nine million dollars worth of miscellaneous projects. It's not 200,000 miscellaneous projects, you know, I mean, it's a project that's bigger than all in three of the, of the listed projects.